hello everyone so in this lecture i will discuss about anti ile function so it is a window function that distribute row of an order partition into a specified number of approximately equal group or bucket and it assign each group a bucket number starting from one so if i show you the example here simply this is the syntax to write uh, this anti ile function just write it so i here I given a 4 so it divided the data into 4 group and given a number like 1, 2, 3, 4. Similarly if I give a like 5 then it will divide the data into 5 group. So it's just um, based on the number that we give here. And here also we have option uh, partition by partition by department. Let's see the result. So if I did a partition by department here I need to reduce because in particular partition we have very less value let's see 2 yeah so in HR we have only two value three value so mm, first it divided into it divided into two group one and two actually we have only uh, three row for this particular department but if we have a uh, one more row then it uh, return uh, like one more partition uh, group that is two but here we can see for IT uh, we have uh, divided into two group one and two same for this sale we divided the data into two groups so here we can give three also so here we have three values so we have only three partition three rows for this three partition but for IT we have multiple row then we can see it divided data into three equal 1 1 1 then 2 2 3 3 so that's all about this function thank you so in this i just want to describe a little bit more like how the partition happen here so what happened so in this it group we have 2 3 4 5 6 7 we have 7 values so what it did first it divided it into a uh, three groups okay so three into two six so first it given one one then two two then three three again the one value got remained then again it started with one and if we have more value like instead of uh, seven if we have more eight rows in this particular group then we will have uh, like uh, one more two uh, second group for this IT and if we have nine then we'll have one more group for this particular department it that is three so that's all how does it work